BitFry Game Studios hasn't been around for long, but they specialize in making arcade sports titles, a genre that doesn't get many games nowadays. It shouldn't be too surprising, considering that former baseball figures Ryan Howard and Les Auden gave BitFry Game Studios serious financial backing. Their first game, Ultimate Rivals The Rink, even got screen time at the Game Awards 2019. I didn't play it because I'm not a big fan of hockey, but I'm more partial to basketball so I gave Ultimate Rivals The Court a shot. Despite the game being more appealing and launching during the 2021 NBA playoffs, no one is playing this game, and it has gotten repetitive rather quickly. The first thing you'll notice about Ultimate Rivals The Court is the number of athletes in this game. There are members from the US Women's National Soccer Team, NBA, NFL, MLB, NHL, and the WNBA. It's a hefty amount of players to include, and there are plans to add on WWE superstars and legends in future updates. Players start off costing 1,000 coins and can be as much as 5,000 coins. Players have various different stats regarding dunks, steals, movement, shooting, and more, even for those that play a sport other than basketball. You may question why Devin Booker has a lower passing and crossover rating compared to Wayne Gretzky. But the appeal isn't with the numbers game, and more with seeing athletes like Jose Altuve dunk a basketball with a baseball bat. Coins can be earned by completing daily and weekly challenges, such as hitting a certain number of points with a player, winning games, making a number of three-pointers, and more. You can also get new players by completing a gauntlet challenge, which nets you with a free player if you can win every single match in the gauntlet. Other modes include quick play, training, and multiplayer matchmaking or local play. Unfortunately, there isn't much of a player base for Ultimate Rivals The Court, and trying to matchmake games a month after release is a futile effort. No one is playing this game online. The only meaningful way to make progression and unlock more of the roster is to play through the gauntlet, and the gauntlet is just too easy. Ultimate Rivals The Court plays well enough, it's easy to pick up and shoot, jump, and steal in this 3 on 3 game. Netting shots, blocks, and dunks can also get you a score multiplier up to 3, so those 3s can easily turn into 9 points if you can make those shots. The issue comes with the ultimates, powerful moves that are unlocked after gaining enough momentum. As you play, your actions feed into a momentum bar at the top of the screen. It's a tug-of-war situation between you and the opposing team as you play to get those ultimates. When the tug-of-war ends, an ultimate energy bar is distributed between the two teams based on their performance. Fill it out completely, and you get access to a powerful ultimate move. These moves include slowing down other players, getting the ball instantly on defense and making incredibly long dunks multiple times, or hitting a surefire baseball hit that can net you up to 20 points. These ultimate moves feed into the crazy arcade action of the court, but getting these is too easy and repetitive, even as you go further and further into the gauntlet. You can jump into quick play and modify the difficulty for extra challenge, but unless you're only playing quick play for those challenges, the gauntlet is the most optimal way for unlocking more players on your squad. When you can pass, cross over once or sometimes not at all, and turbo dunk past everyone within the space of a few seconds during your possession, the only time you need to play smart is on defense. Even then, I never felt like I was making truly great defensive plays, as I would jump and block during every scoring opportunity until I got the ball back, making a breakaway score, rinse, and repeat. If there are some deep strategies to be found in Ultimate Rivals The Court, I'm not seeing them in offline play and I really can't practice online due to the lack of players. Ultimate Rivals The Court does ooze style, featuring stylized versions of the different athletes and bright neon futuristic courts to play on. It can get visually messy at times, especially when trying to initiate a steal when your squad has surrounded a player and you need to figure out which player is closest to the ball to make a steal. The courts don't quite get the same treatment as the athletes do, with Times Square and Cape Canaveral looking like a mishmash of angular, futuristic buildings. That shuttle won't take off at the end of the match, for example, and the training court doesn't have any music at all while you're playing on it. It's not that the courts need to have a gimmick or play differently from one another, 
but they do suffer from a lack of personality and character. A single element that identifies the stage isn't quite enough. Apple Arcade players don't have a large pool of quality sports games to play on the service, and Ultimate Rivals the Court lies somewhere in the lower middle of the pack. It's better than 2K's basketball game, and it does have more lasting appeal than smaller experiences like big time sports. What drags the court down to a 2 out of 5 is the low player base and simplistic gameplay. It's great for a pick up and play arcade experience, but that experience diminishes when there is no one else to bring your squad against. There's also not enough offline offerings to switch things up from the gauntlet and quick play options. The only thing that will possibly keep players glued are upcoming additions to the roster and unlocking more players to add to their squads. Given the state of the multiplayer, I don't think Apple Arcade users are showing up to the court and are playing something else.